This is all Monier tile and uh, it's being installed by uh, counter battens. This is European style. Doesn't have any plywood underneath or or any solid sheeting. It just uh, the owners they don't like it because they said it has some several leaks, so they're going to replace it for uh, shingles. This is a lifetime uh, uh, tile, but. A lot of people are bragging about uh, underlayment, you know, under tiles and uh, and some uh, cities and some, uh, even here in the United States, some cities, you know, they don't even use uh, underlayment. And this tile has been here for over, over 30 years. It just got green, it got ugly, so the owners, they don't like it. So they want to uh, install a new, in the system. We're just removing it and then we're gonna take it down with the conveyor and then we're gonna somebody and then we're gonna put it in pallets and we're gonna we're gonna take it to a recycling place where they're gonna resell it. I'm gonna give it to the guy because I can't afford to pay for this tile, you know it's a, it's a waste of money and a waste of material. So the guy he sells it like for three dollars a piece or four dollars because this is a rare to find tile. Probably gonna take about a hundred pieces for myself. And uh, that's it. All right, thank you guys. Bye bye. I'll take this video for the guy that uh, asked me today how do I how do I get a straight uh, valley on both sides okay that's one valley that's another valley so what I do I usually throw a check line and then I start from the top to the bottom like the way he is you see it he starts from the top and then all the way to the bottom and then he does those cuts and then I, I go from here and up here like this side I'm doing this side so this is how we do it I follow this line this is my guide on this side and I throw a check line so he goes down and then I go up okay so this is how you get a straight belly okay because a lot of people you know they usually start from from the bottom of the belly and then when they get there they get like a little piece of a uh, shingle and this is the way it looks you see it's straight perfect every single every single uh, line is gonna match okay because you throw a chuckling on the top you measure from the ridge through the top of the this shingle and then you measure on that side and then you just uh, snap a line and this is how you do it is that's a world famous chopping Te doy una foto, Chapin. Qué putas. Qué chuchó mis líneas. These are the perfect lines. La chimenea. Oh, sí, la chimenea, ¿verdad? Chapin did the fireplace. This is our valley. Yes. Well, the The guy who asked me about the valley, how do I make this uh, lines straight? So I'll tell you the secret: snap a line and then go 
go down instead of going up and just follow the line from these shingles just make a straight line and then you're gonna have a straight valley like this okay you're gonna have a crooked valley next time I'll show you how to how to make your license straight on the valley because a lot of people they usually come crooked when they get to these lines see all my lines are straight in the valley because uh, I go slowly but you know, I, I take my time to do the valleys because this is the most critical part where everybody goes crooked for some reason, I don't know why. You see them? Show you this side. See them? All straight. And this is how I do my valley metals. This is how I do my cat right here. Okay. And this is another another look for an, uh, an old uh, tile roof. Hopefully, you guys uh, get some tips out of this. And if you already know them, well, good for you. For the people that don't know how to roof, you know, this is another way to do a roof. You know, uh, remember to stick to your building codes. Uh, read your ICBO before you install any roofing materials and just follow your roofing codes in your area, okay? Uh, see you. Bye-bye. And this is my job car. I'm going to leave my ladder for the inspector tomorrow. I tied it to the, to the post and make sure your ladder is about three feet above the roof and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and just pick up my ladder and leave the job car for the owner.